Hey, what's going on guys? Logan from Mighty Reptiles here, here with the vlog of June 13th, I believe. It's a Tuesday. But, um, today is going to be a bigger day. I'm going to be driving out an hour and a half to go look at two snakes. They're going to be really cool. Um, so I'm just waiting on the text from the guy. Alright, so I just pulled into uh, the person's house and the area here is really, really cool. There's a lot of really cool cars. It's actually in North Hollywood. I didn't get a glimpse of the sign, but if I do see it, or if it's close enough so I can just kind of reroute a little bit to get it on the vlog, I will. But it is really nice out here. All right, so unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get to the Hollywood sign to get in the vlog. He told me it's on the opposite side of the hill. And he's like, it's it's actually two miles away. It'd be, a, it'd be like four times as short if you were to just walk that. And since I have snakes, I'm not gonna leave them in the hot car or anything like that. Uh, so I'm just gonna be heading back so I'm gonna catch you guys back when I get back to the house in about two hours. So I'll catch you then. All right guys, I just got back from Hollywood. It actually was a really nice drive home. It was weird. It took me two and a half hours to get there but only 45 minutes to get back so that says a lot about the traffic. Uh, but I picked up two snakes while I was there. So let me show them to you real quick. All right, so the first guy that I, or the first one I got is a guy and he is um, breeding size I actually popped him to see if he was popping plugs and he did and he is a visual clown he's got a really nice stripe going down he's got a really nice reduced pattern on the sides and I'm just really liking how he looks and these guys are both super friendly in fact I got tired of having him in the bag mostly because the bag um, I, I didn't tie it all that well I didn't want to end up with another snake in the car story so I actually just took him out at the end and was driving around with him on my shoulders. I mean, that was just on side streets though. It was like five, 10 minutes max. So yeah, let me get to the next. All right, so as you can see, the second girl here is a bumblebee and she is het for clown and she is huge. I want to just go off guessing by how she feels. She's somewhere in between 1,700 and 2,000 grams. Unfortunately, our scale's dead and I need to go get batteries. So I'll get you guys numbers if I remember, but she is just absolutely huge. So as soon as she starts eating for us and he starts eating for us so I know that they're comfortable, I'll try putting them together, see how things work out. Cause those will be some definitely really pretty babies. All right, so I couldn't go to talking about all of our new clowns that we got and not show off the little man. Um, and that of course is Gustavo. If you guys remember us getting him at Repticon on the day two video. He is Banana Mojave Het Clown. So let's see if I can get him in there. He is just absolutely gorgeous. So once he is up to size and once the G7X refocuses on me, um, he is going to be put with the females, but as for right now, it's all gonna be on um, Jasper, the new clown. And, but once we get some banana clowns, that's when things are gonna start getting crazy, huh, little man? All right, so it's a little bit later, and I wanted to show off two things to you guys today. We just got those two snakes, and now I wanna show you guys our females that are just about ready to go, and going off of AEP's vlog that I just recently watched, he had showed off all of his feeders and all of his system, and ours has recently exploded, and I realized I have not shown that to you guys in a while, so I was gonna do that. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna go in here. We have our spider head exanthic girl to our exanthic head albino male. As you can see, she's really getting close. She's starting to glow. Then we have our head albino that went to that same exanthic head albino. As you can see, she is just huge. This is the original head albino that you guys saw from the first vlog, I believe, where I was actually given this head albino from Mike from Always Evolving Pythons. Not sure on the progress of this girl. But she's getting bigger, not not too much. She's not showing signs of ovulation like the other ones, but she's definitely growing more in her lower third. Let's go down here. This is Mojave to our Mystic Potion. As you can see, she's just huge. 
She's an absolute ball right now. And that's just how we see her every time now. Skip on over to our Phantom, who's also put to the Mystic Potion. She's not really curling up yet, but as you can see, she just it got really massive down there in her belly. Really excited for this pairing. She's just so beautiful. And here's our last girl. This is another Mojave that's getting pretty close. Also went to the Mystic Potion. So yeah, that's all the girls that have... Oh wait, no, actually it's not. There's one more. Let me just grab this step stool. On the very top, this is our Black Pastel girl that we put Peanut with. And she just got really big. You can see down there in her lower midsection there. The shoes just exploded. <laughs> What's up, baby? She's going into shed. So fingers crossed for prelay. She's no longer interested in locking with him, so I'm hoping that means that she's done. And then other than that, we have our black pastel het pies who are just, just shed. Sweet. No great signs of ovulation yet. Still putting the male in there. And same with the sister over here. Oh, Alright, so now on to the feeders. Alright, so here's our rodent room. If I close this door. We have all of our ones that are males here that can be fed here. They're all sorted by different size. So here's the smaller guys here. And we have some um, actual like small rat size here. So pretty much as soon as they're weaned, they get moved over to here if they're a boy. And if not, they go over here if they're a girl. And they're going to be added to the breeding program. So here is some of our litters of babies. There's actually three separate uh, litters in here, but only two moms. And as you can see, there's more in the back, including a fresh one. That mom's kind of cute taking a nap. This is a mating group right here. We're waiting on them. And then there's actually, if you go in the back there, there's some pinkies. And then some more here that are just about ready to be weaned. If you go down here, we have, I want to say they're three, four, five days old at that point as well as another set in the back that's just pretty fresh. So now if I go over to this six tall one, we have some moms as well as some breeding groups. So as you can see, we have some pups running around in here. And these guys are just adorable when they're little. We got some more pups in here. Oh, there's a lot in here. As well as down here, these ones are just about close to being able to be removed from care of their mom. Let's see. And I believe this is a breeding group. Yep. Um, we have a male in here with some of our girls that we've actually produced. So hopefully that they will be ready to breed soon. Then here's a breeding group up here with Big Boy Band. Then if I swing back around, here's all the females we produce that are going to be ready pretty soon. There's actually two males in here. We have three hairless, two boys, one girl. Gonna start doing that project in our rats. And it's just big groups of little females that need to grow up all throughout here. That are soon gonna be in breeding pairs. Hey, the one. And then back behind me, we have a maternity rack for all of our mice. Oh, here's a good example. Look at all those pinkies. Here, look at that. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at the little Oreos. What's up, Mom? Oh, she hasn't even gone yet. That's a different Oreo pair. Wow. 
And then this thing is three by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're just not using the top row. And as you can see, there's some getting quite bigger. And then we have our feeders down at the bottom. These will be the ones that we feed on Wednesdays to our younger ones. So yeah, that's all of our feeders. All right guys, so this is me actually back on my phone. So if you guys want a direct comparison between G7X and phone, here's one for you guys. But I forgot to film an outro yesterday and today is Thursday. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. We're going to be giving away a snake at 250 subscribers. So if you're new here, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as a hint for tomorrow's vlog on Thursday, Thursday is just going to be crazy. Thursday is today, but you guys probably see it tomorrow, if not Saturday. But it is just crazy. It's going to be awesome. And I'm letting you know we're getting a bunch of snakes. Keep your eye out on them because one of them will be in the giveaway. And then the upload following that will be the giveaway. So other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.